After you do the basting stitch on one side of your bag, you're going to be doing the same thing down the other side. Now when you're sewing down the side with the zipper pull, you want to make sure to kind of pull that back so you won't accidentally sew on top of the metal. When you're sewing, you should just be sewing through the fabric and maybe some of the zipper tape, nothing on the metal or on the zipper teeth. Okay, So I'm going to start up at the top. Remember I want a fourth of an inch seam allowance and I want to make sure my machine is set for a basting stitch. So if you turned off your machine in between, make sure that you change this so you're going to hit the button so it goes down to the stitch length at the bottom. You're going to hit the plus as high as it can go, which it will stop at five. Okay. Then I'm going to line up the edge of my fabric okay, with the two eighths little dash on my bobbin play cover. I'll put my foot down and then I'm just going to sew my straight line down the side. Now you don't have to back stitch this time. You can just sew your straight line a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Okay, you can go slow once you get to where the zipper is to make sure that it's going to stay right next to each other. Don't let it fall down like this when you sew. You need to make sure it's going to be right next to each other. And then you're just going to sew like this. And you can keep going, taking out the pins as you go. to the end you can stop, pull it out of your machine. So then when you're done you're going to have a, your basting stitch line going all the way down this side too. So you'll have one on each side. You will not have any line sewn across the bottom or the top, just the two sides.